crazy. Oh. Oh, that's best of five. Oh, You know what to do with all of this. I have to leave now. Okay, so. bye bye, Evadon. Yeah. Have a great day. I will try my best. It's been all right. Gamers, we have winner's semis. Legacy doozy. You're Victor. Alright, you fin you finish watching that and then come come with me. Fuck it. What? Um, sorry? I couldn't hear you. Yeah, alright. Yo, let's go, Charger! Damn. Kai just got upset, so that's why everyone was popping off. Uh, Charger, a Rob player, managed to beat him 2 0. Yeah, so sad. Um, no, actually, it's it's good. <laughs> Babe, <laughs> you tag. Uh, All right. Oh, All right. right. Fucking all right then, whatever. Game one, PS2, classic. All right. Starting off strong, Legacy's got the 52% on Doozy here. These two play a lot, considering they're both pretty high level in the ACT Smash scene. Yeah. Um, I don't know what their record's like. Uh, Legacy usually wins. Yeah. Legacy usually wins against most people in this region. True. <laughs> he has lost a set to me though, so... <laughs> Alright, so... Your favourite Smash memory ever? No, my favourite Smash memory ever is when I won Victory Road after being in the hospital that day. Oh yeah, that, I actually when I saw that. That was... I think that was like 2019. Yeah, I looked back at like some old ACD records. I was like, wait, you won Victory Road? That's sick. I was HMs on PR. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, all right. So during the time that I was during the time I was saying that, we got a stock taken from we got a stock taken from Doozy. Uh, David and your fuzzy. Commentate. Mm. Enjoy the match. Is there no one commentating? All right. This. That's death. Oh, that. Yo, the gumbo is so light, and it still did not die. He needs to. He needs to pummel more. He needs to pummel more. He needs to pummel more. Yeah. I've noticed that actually. Yeah. He, he, yeah ask me everything. He, ask me about everything that D does. It's wrong. Mm. See, tune it down. I mean, like. And see now, now he's gonna stay like, and he doesn't have rage. He's going down B. Oh, was he trying to redirect it towards him so he could go away? Yeah, he wanted to get himself out of there. Okay, and the bear. And the bear. Honestly, how strong is that bear? Is it like is it like Bowser Bear? Because it looks like it. It's pretty strong. Probably pretty not that strong. 
Wolfbear. I know, it used to be a lot easier to gauge like the strength of things when we had Kuragane Hammer's uh, frame data because you'd have actual knockback values. Oh, knockback values, but you don't have that anymore, right? No, well, Kuragane Hammer still exists, like the, uh, the website, I think, uh, but like Ultimate Frame Data is the one that everyone uses and you don't, they, they don't track that information. The F smash read, honestly. Now he pulls back. Every character that like pulls back a little bit before they do their their smash, their side smash, broken. Name one that's not broken. Yeah, one time redemption. You're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. Every character that pulls back. Yeah. yeah. Mario, Falcon, Marf, Wolf, 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 Wolf. Yeah, Marf. Belmont. And the Belmonts is pull. Oh, it makes sense for the Belmonts. It does make sense. Yeah, like that's the one that makes sense. Oh, actually, no, no. Wolf's one does make sense because you like pull it back. It's kind of, it's kind of it's kinda like, it's like you know, Neji Hugo. <laughs> no, we need. Hey, does anyone do? Does anyone do the Bruce Lee kick for their side smash? I'm trying to think. Bruce Lee kick. Like the, like just the, like the, the lunging forward uh, uh, side kick. Isn't it just the Street Fighter character? They do that. They do I guess, that. Yeah, yeah like, they I do do that. They do do that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do, they do kick it out. That's a good side smash. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, is it? Yeah, it is a side smash. They use their kick. Yeah. That's right. They all make sense. They do. They do. So, do, so does he like to pick a uh, smash bill uh, on his uh, on his counter pick? Because uh, he likes having less space for the opponent to get away. But his issue isn't like uh, his issue isn't like a, a, a having too much space. Uh, it's more that he like gets he does he like picks the he's kind of in like the wrong like rhythm against Legacy. He doesn't pick the, the, the he picks like options that are. Would work if Legacy was doing something else, but they're like out of sync, basically. Oh, okay. I know exactly what you saw. What you mean? Oh, okay. I I think like so. Basically, his tempo is like it's just not yeah, the he, tempo he should be playing. It. Like uh, exactly. it's so, it's case sorry, by case yeah. for player to player. Like everyone has a specific tempo that they're good at and a tempo that they're weak at. Yeah, like so, what? Like Legacy is gonna do some like spacing forward airs yeah, and, I, I and, didn't and spacing back airs, and then start doing like some tilts and stuff. Hmm. And that's when you want to just like be, be kind of like pulling back and then like coming to his space. That 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 down B was interesting. He didn't do anything. He just did it and then he didn't do anything. That's 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 why he keep him on the toes. Yeah. But so like he does stuff like this and like okay that's the time when you want to be jumping, when Kirby's trying to jump in your face. All right now. Wait oh so Kirby can do that over yeah, the yo yo? It, yeah, it just it just clanks. Like the yo yo actually has a like. It, it's hard. It actually doesn't beat out a lot of things unless you release it. If he had released it, it might have beat. It might have actually beat it out. Because yeah, Because of yeah. the way the hitbox is like transition. That near drift back was fantastic. That's death. Yeah. Yep. Like honestly, the fact that he's doing this with a character that needs to go up and close. I mean, it, it's a long range character versus like an up and close character. And in all honesty, Kirby is also kind of hard to hit. But Ness. I mean, I mean, Ness is really more of like a of like just a punch puncher. He just he just hits up close. He has PK Fire and PK Thunder, but he's not supposed to like zone with them. Oh, so he's, you're not really meant to zone? With, with... No, not really. And that's gonna be. That's, no, he should make that back. He should make that. He can still make that back. No, don't give up. Oh, he gave up. He gave up. It's okay. It's game. Game. Uh, it's too up. It's too up for Legacy. Um, yeah. But I don't know. I think Doozy's a good player. It's just that I feel like in that moment he just gave up. This is good. It's just that like almost no one in this in this room, this region, like, probably most of the country, really understands how to fight Kirby because like there are like seven Kirby's in the world. There's not many Kirby's to begin with. It is. It is. It is. It's like, weird. And like, and like once you understand how to fight Kirby, it's kind of over. And the answer yeah. is. You, and the answer is you move away from him. You move, and then he can't, and then he can't get to you. Um, again, against Legacy, it's also like he'll run learning up. learning how to play against Legacy himself is different. However, like I feel like maybe so it, people just need to understand how Kirby works. If they get matchup experience, then that's yeah, when they'll yeah, kind of like yeah. understand it. Like, like I, I don't know when it must have been, but like I understand how to fight Kirby, so I must have fought him at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It kind of transitions over. Um. Denal had a had a, uh, had a Kirby. Okay. Yeah. Played it in Dancing Blades and stuff. So that's actually like monthlies where. But then again, Denal was the kind of player to kind of 
change it up every single time. Yeah, like so it wasn't like it, full, complete, like main you, maining. Like the, yeah. The, the thing, the thing with that with Daniel is that you don't really get. It's actually dead off that. Oh, he's not, oh he's not dead. He's not dead he did that. not die. Is that the thing with Daniel is that he. You don't really like learn a matchup from fighting his different characters yeah, because he's not really playing the full extent of them. He's kind of just like extremely good at the at the at, game. At, at just, like, in, yeah. You can just find like okay, what are the like the five good moves? I'm gonna I'm just gonna like exploit them and space them around. Yeah, and I think well for this game in particular, Legacy has done super well with well, Doozy loves using the that yo-yo as a as a form of like edge guarding. And him not getting that is, is probably pressuring him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and the thing is, he, he did practice this in a, like, he did sort of try it out in friendlies uh, a few months ago of just like that, of doing, doing, that was like, a good back doing more down airs right when he goes to do up his, his up B. Oh. Oh. You see, that would have been the type of full hop up there. That should have been full hop up there. And, and I think you have to, you have to kind of expect that no Kirby is going to like go all the way to the ground with their down B because that, then they're vulnerable. Yeah, actually, like, I, I, I tried learning how to play Kirby just because of, like, the fact that I was like, what are they fishing for? Like, yeah. when, I lo when I lost to Nick so much, like, um, yeah, oh, Ants, when I lost to Ants so much, I, I started playing Fox. You and just play the other person's character or just play the character you're having trouble with to at least understand, like, what would I do in this situation if I was playing this character? And then you just have a way better grip of, of what to do. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like um, you can learn a lot from that way. However, this this seems to be in Doozy's favor right now. He's he's climbed his he's, way back. Yeah, he's, he's figuring it out. He's figuring it out. Good up smash out of shield. Yeah, see, like that's the that's something Legacy likes to do: down tilt and then run in and get a grab. Yeah. Just like up smash out of shield, bang! Up smash is like frame six or something. Well, he didn't go for the Wi-Fi option of rolling behind and then grab and throw. <laughs> In all honesty, Wi-Fi option for Ness. Wi-Fi options? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ness on Wi-Fi is like the second best character in the game. Honestly, Ness on Wi-Fi right is... Right behind is, Ganondorf. It, no, isn't Cloud the best in, in Wi-Fi? Uh, you can make an argument for like literally everyone. That's true. Well, I love Ganondorf on Wi-Fi. Fantastic. Uh, nice thing about Ness, Ness and Lucas share a similar property. Uh, Ness slightly less, which is that almost all of his like regular moves have the knockback growth to just kill. Yeah. So, so he doesn't have to like look for setups. He can eventually just be like, I'm gonna hit a button, and if it hits you, you're dead. Yeah. Which is which is very powerful because you think about those like think about how like she has to. Ooh, fair one to F smash. Fantastic. I had to know that was coming eventually. Ah. Uh. Three out of legacy, but like Do Dizzy was like getting getting the getting, getting the, the rhythm. Getting the right stuff there by the fun game. Yeah. Um Chrome. I tell you Victor, don't we come to the stream, please. Just gonna put your legacy up 